Are you working from home and you're stuck in front of your laptop or your PC and you just want to break free and go somewhere else and start typing or wiggle your mouse all over the screen? Well, I've got the solution for you. The Uhuru Keyboard and Wireless Mouse Combo Kit. Do you want to know what's inside? And stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to IoT Ixis on Tech. I am Ixis. Thank you very much for joining me today on this episode. What have we got today? So, as you've seen in the intro, I've been sent the Uhuru 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard and mouse combo kit. So let's open the box, see what we get, and see what it sounds like, see what it's like to type on, and check some of the stats about this device. So let's open this. It's got the um, Uhuru QR code on the back. If you'd like to scan that, then push pause. Or you can just go to the website, uhuru-mobility.com. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel, Thank you very much to all those who have subscribed. If not, then hit that subscribe button below, please. Thank you very much. Um, I have been sent a few products from Uhuru. Oh, I'll open it the other end. What have I got? I got the, the microphone by there that I use regularly. And I got sent a vlogging kit a while back. That was pretty cool. Come with a little, uh, little light and a shotgun mic and a little tripod. So this is their 2.4 gigahertz wireless it says keyboard and mouse combo, proudly yours. Oh my goodness, what have I done with this now? And there's the keyboard. Let's put that to one side. Aha, there you go. Oh, ah. Meh. <laughs> so there's the little mouse, little port tab at the bottom. And there's the little nano receiver. So that plugs into your laptop, your PC. Haven't tried it yet on a smart TV, but I'll, I'll leave in the description when I try it on a smart TV. Or even on your games console, even. Let's see what else we get. It's got a little happy card. So you can go email support at uhurumobility.com and a user manual. So what's so special about this keyboard? Well, it's wireless. It only takes two batteries. The mouse, let's have a look, takes a double A battery and the keyboard only takes a double A battery. Like how crazy is that? Again, you've got a port tab on the back and you've also got adjustable feet. But what I like about this, it's got a built-in wrist rest. So, sorry, it's quite quiet. So if you're used to typing on a laptop and we know how small these keyboards can be, let's pull the tab out, there we go. That's now live. There's a little red light on the top that indicates that it's live. And on the mouse, I said you've got the little USB uh, dongle thing. Let's plug that in. Connected. Let's pull the tab out of there. Uh, oh. And you've got the red, little red light on the bottom to show. Oh, there we go. Keyboard, mouse is set up and ready to go. So this has three adjustable DPI settings with that little, little button on the top there. So you've got 800, 1200, and 1600. It's quite a comfortable mouse. It glides really well on my uh, on my metal mouse pad by there. And yeah, it feels all right on this desk actually. Oh, and it works. Now that mouse by there, the um, version tech mouse, it doesn't work on this IKEA desk or on that IKEA desk. Yeah, so that's why I had to buy the mouse, mouse pad. But uh, this keyboard has 13 function keys along the top. I mentioned about, you know, you're working on a laptop at home at the moment. This keyboard has quite a short travel on, on the keys. So if you're used to typing on a laptop, this won't feel that much different. Oh dear, won't sound that much different. <laughs> Eek, what have I done? So let's have a closer look at this keyboard then. So what do the function keys do? So in the top right, you've got the escape button. So if you push the FN button and the escape button, that'll launch the media player. FN and F1, play and pause. FN and F2, previous track. F3, next track. F4, volume up. F5, volume down. F6, mute. FN and F7, web home. FN and F8, search. F9, my favorite. F10, email. FN and F11, screen lock. And FN, F12, 
my computer. So you're probably thinking about the battery life on these things. Well, as I said, the keyboard only takes it one single triple A battery. The mouse takes a double A battery. So according to the instructions and on Uhuru's website, so without using the mouse for one minute, the mouse goes into sleep mode level one, which means you can just move the mouse and it'll wake it up. The red LED on the bottom, the sensor on the bottom is still lit up. There we go. Um, without using the mouse for one to eight minutes, the mouse will go into a sleep mode at level two. You can move it to wake it up uh, and the red LED will keep flashing. So without using the mouse for more than eight minutes, then it'll go into a deep sleep. So just to wake up the mouse, you just click the button and it'll wake up and it will start to squeak. One thing I would like to see on this mouse is a couple of back buttons. But that's only me being a bit picky because I've been working from home for the last seven months now. It's October, <laughs> October 2020. What a year. And my mouse there has back buttons. I find I've gotten used to using those now. But I'm sure I've seen on Uhuru's website that you can buy a keyboard and mouse kit that does have the back buttons on it as well. So what does this keyboard sound like then? Well, let's bring up a notepad rather than just tapping away. So everybody's favorite, the quick brown fox. Sounds all right, doesn't it? What about all the buttons? Let's, let's do a sound test of these. I'll, I'll go a bit closer for you. The mouse, let's have a listen to the mouse. Let's move the keyboard out of the way. Ooh, center button. Clicks. So my day job, I work as a call taker and I use a keyboard and a mouse for what, eight hours a day? And I've been use using this for the last week and I like it. I like how quiet it is when you type in the mouse gives you the freedom, you know, to move anywhere uh, on the desk. I'm not tethered to the, sometimes the, the cable on my mouse gets caught behind the desk. I'm like, uh, tugging it away, tugging it away. You know, the keyboard is very light, very sturdy, doesn't bend, not much flex in it at all. And the battery life will last ages as well. Would I recommend this product? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so would I recommend this product? Well, yeah, because it's absolute bargain price. Got this off Amazon. Have a look on amazon.co.uk. Search for the Uhuru keyboard and mouse combo kit, 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Um, you know, it comes with a mouse, a little holder, a few little nano receiver that plugs in there. Battery life will last ages. And the batteries are, you know, quite common batteries as well. So they're quite easy to pick up. Oh, by the way, this is height adjustable as well. It's got little feet on the back. Clip it down. So if you want the more flatter experience, and as I said before, I like the built-in wrist rest as well. I find that really comfortable to type on no matter what height that you're on. So this has been the unboxing and the review of the Uhuru 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard and mouse combo kit. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If not, then hit that thumbs down button twice for me, please. Thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of IoT Ixis on Tech. I'll catch you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.